Imagine trying to speedrun Minecraft. Everything's going well, you find a lava pool, make a portal, and go to the nether. But this is when things get a bit frustrating. You see, you decided to do your speedrun in the 1.16 nether update. So, uh, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> no, literally, good luck finding a fortress because it's so hard! But the real question is, why is it so hard? What caused Mojang to nerf the spawning of nether fortresses, and was this a good decision? Well, in this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into the technical aspects of structure spawn rates and answering all of these questions. So if you end up liking this video, leave a like, and uh, you know, sometimes you might be watching one of my videos and not even realize that you're subscribed. So it'd mean a lot if you could just scroll down a bit and check if you're subscribed. That'd be much appreciated. Thank you so much. Well, anyway, let's get into it. Minecraft is an ever-changing game, and with that comes ever-changing ways to speedrun. With each update of Minecraft, speedrunning strategies change, but with the 1.16 nether update, speedrunning just kinda sucks. Honestly, Dream said it best, with his parody song about the nether fortresses. <laughs> As you all know, the nether fortress is an essential structure required in order to beat the game. You can't go to the end without blaze rods, and you can only get blaze rods in a nether fortress. In 1.16, nether fortress spawning was significantly nerfed, and although they did slightly increase the spawn rate for the full release, they are still quite rare. But why did they nerf them in the first place? Fortresses were most likely nerfed to balance it out with the rest of the nether structures and biomes. One of the main features and appeals to this update is exploration. By nerfing fortresses, the game is forcing you to explore more, likely checking out the new biomes and features of the update before you find a fortress and get out of the nether. I actually like this idea and it really does sound good on paper, but it really doesn't work so well in practice. But exactly how rare are they? To answer this question, I generated 11 worlds in 1.15.2 and 11 worlds in 1.16.1 using chunk base. Why 11? Uh, I, I don't know. Chunkbase is a website where you can find the location of structures. I did some quick math, and it turns out in the pre-nether update, there was an average of 5.3 nether fortresses in a 64 square chunk region around 00, zero which that's also equivalent to an area of 1024 by 1024 blocks. Now that sounds like a lot of blocks, which it is, but this is actually good odds, because for each chunk with an area of 16 by 16 blocks, the odds of another fortress spawning per chunk is 0.13%. Now that's not how the game spawns nether fortresses, but it gives a good representation of how likely a spawn is per chunk or per 256 blocks, not accounting for the vertical axis. Now let's try the same thing with 1.16. With 11 random seeds, there is an average of 2.5 nether fortresses in the same 64 by 64 chunk area. Now that doesn't sound like a significant decrease, but if you look at the odds of a fortress spawning per chunk, it is. 0.061% is the odds of a fortress spawning in a chunk based on the data we collected. Going from a tenth of a percent to a hundredth of a percent is a significant decrease. You might think this is pretty bad, but I really feel bad for the Bedrock Edition players now. <laughs> I did the same test for Bedrock 1.16, and it's even worse than Java, with an average of 1.16 nether fortresses spawning in the same 64 by 64 chunk area, and the chances of one spawning per chunk is 0.039%. This is not very good. Once you'd even had no fortresses in that area, that would really suck. I kind of feel bad for Bedrock now, but I guess it kind of balances out since Bedrock players can literally do this. <laughs> that was a joke, please don't start the war in the comments. Also, for 1.15, fortresses spawned in nice little rows like this, but in 1.16, they're pretty much completely randomized. Now, I do like the randomized spawn feature because, you know, it, it just makes sense rather to have them in like rows and stuff like, like what? But they're still super frustrating to find and most of the time they're in the most annoying area possible, like, why? Okay, let's get back to the, like, actual video and stuff. Another reason for the nerf could be to balance out the nether fortress spawns with the brand new structure, Bastions. Now this just makes sense, you don't want the nether to be cluttered with structures. But let's take a look. This is the location of Bastions and fortresses in this world. For the most part, the fortresses and Bastions are spread out. Areas that have fortresses don't have many Bastions. Now this doesn't apply for like every world and stuff, but it is a common trend I've noticed while researching. 
Now this just makes sense, but the main focus of going to the nether is getting the blaze rods. That's how you unlock the end after all. The bastions are kind of like side attractions, but with too many side attractions, it can be hard to get to the thing that you actually need. With all this considered, this makes speedrunning kind of unfair. With lower spawn rates and increased rarity of the fortresses, more luck is involved in ensuring a speedy run. There was always luck involved in speedrunning, as the world record runs like they had good seeds, but with the nerf, the chances of getting a good seed significantly decrease. Just another factor that can make the difference between a world record run or a 3 hour long run. But nether fortresses aren't the only luck factor that can go into a run. With the 1.16 nether update also introduced piglin barter. One of the things you can barter for is enderpearls. Now this is amazing for speedrunners and just amazing in general, but it can also be a bad thing. The chances of getting pearls on a barter is 4.7%. So you can either get lucky and obtain them first try, or spend 15 minutes trying to get them, which is quite annoying actually. <laughs> and actually, with the upcoming 1.16.2 update, the Ender Pearl Barter is actually going to get nerfed even more and go down to a 2.18% chance. Me myself struggled to find another fortress in my survival board. I wasn't even trying to speedrun, but it took me 20 minutes to find the fortress. Now that's a lot of time. But Chickenator, you're just unlucky. I found another fortress first try. Just to test it, I made 6 worlds and timed how long it took to find another fortress in the different versions. In 1.15, it took me around an average of 4 minutes and 43 seconds to find a fortress. But in 1.16, it took an average of 13 minutes and 38 seconds to find another fortress. That is pretty significant, I don't know about you. Long story short, this makes speedrunning less about skill and more about luck. Now I am aware that most of you watching this video don't really care about beating the game super quickly, but it affects everybody who plays Minecraft. From the professional speedrunner to the casual crafter, this affects everybody. But let's see what you guys think. A few days ago, I posted a poll to my community tab where I asked how do you feel about the 1.16 Nether Fortress nerf. 80% of you guys out of 196 voters voted that they didn't really like the nerf. 20% didn't really care, and that's fine, but for most of you guys, it did affect you. This just goes to show how annoying this nerf is. If Mojang doesn't plan to increase spawning rates in the near future, I have an idea. Mojang could add blaze powder as a rare find in the bastion chests. I think this would balance it out more, in case you can't find a fortress, at least there's a chance of finding some blaze powder in a bastion chest. Just an idea. Even after all this, it really comes down to the skill and experience of a speedrunner. That's how you get a world record. Not by getting a perfect seed, although it does help a lot, but by simply being better than the rest. A smart player. A skilled player. And a player who doesn't give up. This has been Chickenator, and thank you all for watching. Oh my god. I'm a legend. I'm a legend. I'm a legend! I'm a freaking legend!